this. Tonight, the town of Matthews is hoping to address concerns over a new development project head on. Neighbors there think the new Santee Matthews project will create a traffic nightmare. And now plans are in the works for a roundabout on Idlewild Road near the 485 interchanges. Our Julia Kaufman tells us how the plan could impact traffic and the massive development that could be coming right next door. Traffic has been a major concern for residents near Idlewild Road for years. Here at Matthews Town Hall, new plans by the developer of Sante Matthews and NCDOT hoping to alleviate some of those backups. To say that roundabout don't work, that's not true. Roundabout does work. Residents and leaders of the town of Matthews going in circles over whether roundabouts help traffic flow. We don't want no apartments, no commercial, no roundabout. Some worry possible future developments and road changes will only lead to more density. Town engineer Susan Woolard says the future roundabout needs final approval, but would prevent commuters from sitting at traffic lights. It's processing more vehicles, so you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. The new roundabout plans forcing developer Peter Pappas to go back to the drawing board for the proposed Sante Matthews mixed-use development. We know this plan represents a great deal of change, but it also re represents a great opportunity to create from scratch a new transportation network. His new plan redirects Stallings Road through the property to feed into the future roundabout at Davis Trace Drive. The modified proposal by them as well um, is still unacceptable. After dozens of complaints, Pappas has agreed to reduce the number of units and commercial spaces in the plan, resulting in a 32% reduction in future traffic from the property. We're going to work with NCDOT to accelerate the roundabout construction. If this roundabout is approved, town staff say construction wouldn't start until 2028. In Matthews, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.